Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. On earth. On earth. It is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this night. Give us this night. Our daily rest. Our daily rest. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not. Lead us not, dear Lord. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us. From the evil one. For the evil one is the kingdom and power Lord, forever and ever. Good night, God. Good night, God. As we pray for sick loved ones, I have a praise report for a newborn baby is out of uh, ICU. Uh, she is doing good. And uh, if all goes well, the parents will be taking her home tomorrow. And praise God that he did a miracle for this newborn baby. And I thank him for it. A healing prayer for the sick loved ones. Almighty Lord, I come before your throne today on behalf of all the sick loved ones. Father, they are weak and their body is in pain and distress, Lord. I pray that you have mercy on them and heal them from these diseases. You are the Lord. You are the most powerful one. The Almighty One, there is nothing that is beyond you. Praise you. So I humbly come before you and ask you to touch them with your healing grace and restore them to health. Remind them of your love for them and help them to trust in you for their recovery and show them your healing power. They did, they did for this family. He really did, Lord. Thank you. And make them whole again. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Jesus is calling July 20th. Seek my face and you will find all that you have longed for. The deepest yearnings of your heart are in intimacy with me. I know because I designed you to desire me. Do not feel guilty about taking time to be still in my presence. You are simply responding to the tugs of divinity within you. I made you for my image. I made you in my image. And I hid heaven in your heart. Your yearning for me is a form of homesickness. Longing for your true home in heaven. Do not be afraid to be different from other people. The path I have called you to travel is exquisitely right for you. The more closely you follow my leading, the more fully I can develop your gifts to follow me wholeheartedly. You must relinquish your desire to please other people. However, your closest to me will bless others by enabling you to shine brightly in this dark world. Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2. Psalm 34, verse 5. Philippians chapter 2, verse 15. The glory of Zion, we're still reading Isaiah. And this is Isaiah, it starts with Isaiah 60, uh, chapter 60, verse 1 to 14, and it will go a, a lot longer. The glory of Zion, arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. See the darkness covers the earth. The thick darkness is over the people, but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. 
Lift up your eyes and look about. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar. Your daughters are carried on the hip. When you look, then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wreath of the seas will the be- wealth. The wealth of the seas will be brought to you and your riches of the nations will come. Herds of camels will cover your land, young camels of Midian and Epha, and all from Seba will come, bearing gold and incense, and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. All kindreds flocks will be gathered to you. The rams of Nebathoth will serve you. They will be accepted as offerings at my altar, and I will adorn my glorious temple. Who are the, these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their nest? Surely the islands look at, to me, and the leads are the ships of Tashis, bringing your children from afar with their silver and gold to honor the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. But he has endowed you with splendor. Foreigners will rebuild your walls. Their kings will serve you. Though in anger I struck you, in favor I will show you compassion. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night, so that people may bring you the wealth of the nations. Their kings led in triumph will tr trumpful, tr trump trumpful. Triumphant process, Possession. possessions for all the nation or kingdoms that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you. The juniper and the fir and the cypress together to adorn my sanctuary. And I will glorify the, pla the place for my feet and the children of your oppressors will come bowing before you, and all who despise you will both bow down at your feet, and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated, with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breasts. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I will bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze. Instead of iron, in place of stones. I will make peace your governor and in well-being your ruler. No longer will the violence be heard in your land, nor ruin destruction with your borders, but you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun will no longer be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again. Your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end. Then all your people will be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are the shoot that I have planted, and the work of my hands. For the display of my splendor, the least of you will become a thousand, and the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord, and in its time I will do this swiftly. <clears throat> Isaiah's mission of comfort. The spirit of Solomon Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me. To proclaim the news to the poor, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of vengeance of our God to cover all who mourn, and provide for those who grieve in Zion, 
to bestow on them the crown of beauty. Instead of ashes, the oil of joy, instead of mourning, and a garment of praise, instead of the spirit of despair, the message of hope. They will be called oaks of righteousness, planting of the Lord, for the display of his splendor. They will review, build the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities. They will have devastated for generations. Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. And you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of the nations. And in their riches, you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion. And instead of this grace, you will rejoice in, in your you're rejoicing your inheritance and you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours for I the Lord love justice I hate robbery and wrongdoing and my faithfulness will reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are people the Lord has blessed. Praise for salvation. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of its righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For the soil makes the sprout go up, come up, and the garden cause seeds to grow. So the sovereign Lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations. The bride's new name. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. The nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory. You will be, call, you will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal Diam. Diam in the hand of your God. No longer will you they call you deserted or your name or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hephzabiath and your land Beulah. For the Lord will take delight in you, and your land will be married as a young man marries a young woman. So will your builder marry you, and as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. So will your God rejoice over you. The, ho <clears throat> the holy and redeemed. I have posted the watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day and night. You who call on the Lord, Give yourself no rest, and give him no rest till he established Jerusalem and makes her praise of the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm. Never again will I give your grain as food for your enemies. Never again will the foreigners drink the new wine for which you have toiled. But those who harvest it will eat it and praise the Lord. And those who gather the grapes will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. Pass through, pass through the gates. Prepare your way for the people. Build up, build up the highway 
remove the stones, raise the banner for the nations. The Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Say to daughter Zion, see your savior comes. See he's, his reward is with him. His recompense accompanies him and they will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you will be called sought after the city no longer deserted. Vengeance against the wicked. Who is this coming from Edom? From Bozrah with his garments stained crimson. Who is this robed in splendor? Striding forward in the greatness of his strength. It is I proclaiming victory, mighty to save. Why are you going to red? Like those of one treading the wine press. I have trodden the wine press alone, for the nations no one was with me. I trembled them in my anger, and trodden them in my wrath. For their blood spattered my garments. And I stained all my clothing. It was for me the day of vengeance. The year for me to redeem had come. I looked, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that no one gave support. So my own arm achieved salvation for me. And my own wrath sustained me. I trampled the nations in my anger. You know, my wrath, I mean, them drunk and poured their blood on the ground. Kindness to righteous. I will tell to the kindness of the Lord. Of the Lord. The deeds for which he is to be praised. According to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for Israel. According to his compassion and many kindnesses, he said, Surely they are my people, children who will be true to me. And so he became their savior. In all their distress, he too was distressed. And the angel of his presence saved them. For his love and mercy redeemed them. he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. The wrath against the re rebellious. Yet they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. So he turned and became their enemy, and he himself fought against them. God's protection recalled. Then his people recalled the days of old, the days of Moses and his people. Where he where is he who brought them through the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who set his Holy Spirit among them, who sent his glorious armor power to be at Mo Moses' right hand, to divide the waters before them, to gain for himself everlasting renown, who led them through the depths like a horse in open country. They did not stumble like a cattle that go down to the plain. They were given rest by the spirit of the Lord. This is how you guide your people. To make for yourself a glorious name. Israel's prayer to God. Look down from the heaven and see from your lofty th throne, holy and glorious. Where are your zeal and your might? Your tenderness and compassion are withheld from us, but you are our father. Through Abraham does not, though Abraham does not know us, or Israel acknowledge us. You, Lord, are our father. Our redeemer from the old is your name. 
My Lord, do you make us wander from your ways and harden our hearts so we do not re revere you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes that you are, that are your inheritance. For a little while, your people possessed your holy place, but now your enemies had trampled down your sanctuary. We are yours from old, but you have not ruled over them. But they have not been called by your name. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, and the mountains that would tremble before you, as we as when fire sets twigs ablaze and cause water to boil, boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause nations to quake before you. For when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. You come to help those who gladly do right, who remember your ways. But when we continue to sin against them, you were angry. How then can we be saved? All of us have become like the one who is unclean and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We all shrivel up like a leaf, like the wind our sins sweep us away. No one calls on your name or strives to lay hold of you, but you have hidden your face from us and given us over to our sins. Yet, Lord, our, yet you, Lord, are our father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the works of your hand. Do not be angry beyond measure, Lord. Do not remember our sins forever. Oh, look on us, we pray, for we are all your people. Your sacred cities have become a wasteland. Even Zion is a wasteland. Jerusalem is a desolation. Your holy and glorious temple, where our ancestors praise you, has been burned with fire. And all that we treasure lies in ruins. After all, this, Lord, will you hold yourself back? Will you keep silent and punish us beyond measure? Heavenly Father, boy, confess the name of Jesus and the devil. That's no more power than me. Not believe any of this lies. Always remember the devil our voice of power line signs and fake wonders. Tears turn to joy. This is really good for that, that 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 family that was really, really worried about that newborn baby. And when I got the prayer request, the grandmother was, was crying. Tears turn to joy. Those who sow so in tears shall reap with shouts of joy because the baby is fine. In times of sadness, whether from a fresh heartbreak or from the memory of a distant one, it can seem like the pain will never end. No words of comfort, no matter how true or well-intentioned, can take away the ache. I know that. These are times when we need only to crawl into Abba's lap. Abba Father, I'm there. And allow his love and promise to envelop us in comfort. He won't say when, when, but he does assure us we will shout again for joy. Father, there are days it's just too much. This world brings so much difficulty, challenge, and sadness. I just want to lie in your arms. How wonderful to know that I can. You hold me tightly and whisper your promises in my ear. You will laugh again. You might cry today, but one day you will shout for joy. Praise be to God. I think I'd like to bring that to prayer tomorrow night. There'll be a lot of things to prayer tomorrow night, if you know what I mean. Yeah. His secret. 
as Christians, we have direct access to the secret things of God. That's right. God wants to share his secrets with us. Can you imagine this? Just picture God bowing near, coupling his hand and whispering his secrets into your ear. That's interesting. You have experienced difficult days is what God has to say. And you often wonder if there's any purpose in your suffering. I long to open your eyes to things you have not yet seen. There are hidden treasures in the middle of your pain, secret riches. I want you to explore these gifts that you might never have received apart from this season of brokenness. The key to receiving my riches is to act in faith. Dare to look for my blessing in your season of anguish. As you walk by faith, not by sight, you will experience a deeper intimacy with me because I am close to the brokenhearted. Psalm 34, 18. In times of sorrow, your relationship with others will be without pretense. You will discover the different kind of joy. The joy is not based on being trouble-free. It is quite certainly that I am still in control. I am on your side. I am working on your behalf. Those who have pain-free life don't even understand this. But I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness. When you receive these riches, reserve them, reserve for you. Then you will know that I am the one who calls you by name. I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel. No one who calls you by my name. The one who calls you by my name. Isaiah 45, 3. Praise be to God. We live in a world that is, you know, it's really horrible, but there's still hope. Crying out to God. There's only one God. A lot of people think that there's others. <laughs> when was the last time a piece of stone said to, saved your life? When was the last time a piece of stone answered the call? God is not a piece of stone. He's not a tree. He's not a piece of wood, piece of metal. What he is, is a living God. And we're made in his image. And we try hard to honor that image. Uh, sometimes we fall short. Uh, I admit when I do. Most days I try hard. Most days, I'll tell you. Lately, since I got old, I don't do much of anything. <laughs> I manage to do what I can. It's funny how I get joy in hanging my clothes out on the mine. <clears throat> I love the smell of the fresh air when I lay down on my sheet that's been hanging out in the wind. That was, as, as young, a long time, before there was such thing as dryers, people washed their clothes and hung them out in lines. The sun made them bright. The air made them smell so good. And that's one of the joys that I have by hanging my laundry out. See, you can find joys in almost anything. It helps you get through the sorrow times. But as I got older, I used to say, why, why, why? But now I say, if I had no sorrow, I would never know what joy it was. And what's one thing is 
when you get to heaven, there's no more sorrow, there's no more pain, there's no more tears. There's just joy in the Lord. I'm anxious to get there, but I'm not really that much in a hurry. I want to finish my work for God. So, you know what I'm going to say. God's knocking at the heart. Open up your heart. Let him in. Jesus will be so happy. You know, over, over the many, many nights that I have tried different ways to get through to you, I don't want to sound boring. I don't want to sound so that you just want to say, okay, lady, I'm done. You know, I heard the Bible. Now that's it. I just want you to win the prize of having a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, there is a price you have to pay. You just ask him for forgiveness. You admit that you're a sinner. And you ask him to be your personal friend. That's so easy. Or is it? It can be a little hard. I've known people say, God, if you're real, show me. And they were shown. So may God bless you and keep you and may his light shine upon you tonight. God bless you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you take care of yourselves. Good night, amen.